What's going on guys, it is your boy Supreme One and welcome back to a brand new episode in my Let's Play series for Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So, in the last episode we made our way through the Temple of the Ancients, basically killing pretty much every, uh, every Sith and droid here basically. And there was also this uh, paralyzed Sith I believe that we had a little chat with and we kind of just decided to you know, just leave her there, I suppose. <laughs> so that was a bit weird, but, uh, yeah, and I ended the episode off when we, uh, opened the door to the Temple Summit, because this is where things are gonna change forever, you know? This is when we make, well, this is when something important happens, so, uh, right, we should probably, uh, go ahead and heal first, because we're all quite low for some reason. It's probably because when I was chatting with that um, computer, for some reason there was something that was killing us, and Jody was like, he died, and then, you know, he kept coming back to life and then dying again, whilst you have, were having that dialogue with the freaking computer. It's a bit weird, but, you know, I, I guess it stopped now. So, what I do want to do is, uh, equip a new pair of robes. So we did, uh, receive these last episode, a Dark Jedi Knight robe. So I'm going to be wearing these now, because I think they look pretty cool. You know, it's like a slightly more shaded version than the one uh, Jolie's wearing. And I kind of like how it looks. So, ignore the fact it's a dark Jedi Knight robe. Just pretend it's like a Jedi robe. Because I do like how this one looks, so I'm going to be uh, wearing this one. Alright, anyway, I think it is time to uh, go to the Temple Summit. Alright. And the music already makes me feel like something's about to go down. Well, I'm going to finally uh, have my final conversation with Jolie, because it does tie in with what's about to happen here. Got something on your mind, do you? So I know it's not the best place to stop and have a chat, but this is the last conversation we're going to have with Jolie, then his, like, quest line's done, I suppose. So, if you like Kashyyyk so much, why did you want to leave? Are we back to that again? And I assure you guys, this will tie in with what's about to happen. Um, I just want a reason why I shouldn't drop you off somewhere, you know? Hmm, you kind of way <laughs> useless. This. Uh, perhaps it's time for a little story. Can you just answer the question for once? You just keep quiet there, you. All right, I, I will. Jeez. Your busy body questions, haven't I? Well, now oh, you I'm sorry. To a story, damn it. <clears throat> okay worry. then. Oh yes, the story. You almost made me forget about it. Nice try, but I'm not that old just yet. Now then, All right. a young man sees a terribly venomous snake in his small village. Nervous, he watches the snake carefully until it leaves. The young man follows the snake into the forest. He clears the branches out of its path and helps it over obstacles. He even works to keep it fed. This is uh, a very long story. Shush! Many nights pass, and still the young man continues to follow the snake. He even follows it into the sands of the great desert. In the desert, the snake eventually grows hungry. It turns okay. and bites the young man, its poison quickly working its way into his system. Finally, curious, the snake looks at the boy as he lays dying and asks, Why were you foolish enough to follow me all the way out into the desert? The boy looks back and replies, Did I follow you? I thought I was leading you away from everyone else. And then he died. Am I supposed to be the snake? Well, now, that's what I wanted to see for myself. Uh... I'm not a snake, I can assure you of that. Well, then, let's hope you're not the young man, either. I've told you before that you have a destiny before you. This does not mean, however, that your future is already written. They are not the same thing. You have the choice of which direction you take your destiny in. More than engine-sucking Andor, certainly, but even he had a choice. So far, you've chosen to take the lighter path. Can you yes, save I your have. course, even through the challenges ahead? Well, we shall see. You'll have to wait and see. I'm not yes, here to we will. judge you or tell you which path to take. I'm here ready to offer you my help, should you ask for it. I do that because I think it's important. More important than remaining in my home and pretending the galaxy doesn't exist. That's why I'm here. Alright. Thank you, Jolie. I'm glad you came. <laughs> I'm rather glad I came too, really. 
You're a fine young lad. I hope... I hope things turn out well for you. Now then, yeah, me too. Enough for one lifetime, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Alright then, so that is it for our dialogue with Jolie now. It's all been complete. So you've dragged more of Jolie about his past than he probably intended, and he has no more tales to tell you for now. Perhaps once your mission is complete and your destiny finally realized, can you talk more? Alright then, um, let's go ahead and see what's in these cylinders before we do anything, I suppose. Why is this saber always activated? It's kind of annoying. Alright. And all the stuff we can from here. Okay then, and if we turn... Well... Look who it is. It's been a while. It looks like we finally found Bastila. There she is. Okay. Let's see how this turns out, shall we? I wonder how this is going to go. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. Malak thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again, but he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly, Bestilla, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape. Yes, let's do you that, please. Understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. No, Bastila. Don't go over to the dark side. You say that as if the dark side is some terrible entity. The Jedi Council has brainwashed you like all the others. Like they once did with me. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. Frickin' out, those sabers are annoying. The goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. It's not too late, Bastila. You can still turn away from the dark side. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while, they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. Ah, uh, don't do this, Bastila. Fight it. I'll help you. You are a sad little fool. You speak as if I were the same Bastila that you've known all along. But freed from the control of the Jedi Council, I become much, Big much Don't do this. I almost wish you could see things as I do now. I wish you could join me and taste true power once again. Sadly, I doubt you're even capable any longer. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side after I prove my worth by killing you. For the so oh crap, we're just going straight into the fight? Okay then. Uh, let's just name this Bastila. Alright. Uh, force wave, why not? See if that's effective. Oh freaking hell. Okay, force wave is not effective. Let's try... Okay, there we go. That was a bit easy. What's gonna happen now? I don't know, I'm scared. You were stronger than I would have thought possible after yes. what the Jedi Council did I to am. You. Seems that Malak was wrong. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan. Don't call me that. I'm not Revan anymore. I'm Supreme One now. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind, remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. That is how I know you will come back to the light. Actually, no, I'm not going to say that. Something better to say. Right, we are linked by more than just a bond, Bastila. Do you remember the whole fucking Do not romance we had? The force for love, it's been Revan. nothing to it you! Does not exist. Power is what forged our bond, 
and power is what made us both tools of the Jedi Council. You don't the mean Council that. tried to exploit the bond between we us. We had a relationship. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who followed the Jedi Code, but in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. Ah. <sighs> Learn from my mistakes then, Bastila. It's not too late to come back to the light. Mistakes? No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. I have only enough power, thank you very much. You, you deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. I'm not Revan anymore. I don't even remember those days. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Please, Bastila, if you feel anything for me, you won't do this. I... I don't. The only Revan I could respect is the one who would break free of the Council's slavery. One who would grasp the power that lies before him. Not the weak fool I see. Bastila, it is not too late for you to be saved. Yes, Jahani. You tell her. can lead you from the dark side, back into the light, and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing Ugh. of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power of the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. I don't want to rule the galaxy. I just want you to return to the light. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. You'll try. Wait, is she just running off? Yeah. She's literally just retreating. Well then. Yikes. Is that it? Take it she's just gone? Well then, alright. So Malak has turned Bastila to the dark side. You confronted her atop the Rakatan Temple, but she has escaped. No doubt she has fled to the Star Forge. Yeah, probably. Look at the quest we have left. I don't even think we can do this with Kandaris because I'm pretty sure we had our final conversation with him. It's just bugged, I think. So essentially, we've completed basically everything at this point now, haven't we? Since Jahani is now complete as well, so Jahani will stand by your side no matter what Malak may send against you. That's good to know. Alright, so Basila has fallen to the dark side and sworn allegiance to Darth Malak. She fled to the Star Forge where she will use her battle meditation to destroy the Republic fleet, unless you find a way to get onto the Star Forge and stop her. Yikes. Alright then. I can't believe that just happens. Alright, let's uh, get what we can from here. Uh, so what is this? A Rakan computer. So this should be the computer that, yeah, it can allow us to disable these two. Alright, so let's shut down the planetary disruptor field. There we go. And now let's shut down the temple energy shield. There we go. So let's log out. Alright, journal entry added. Okay then. Wow, it's literally just Bastler left now, isn't it? So as I said, Kandris is bugged. So we have completed him. So, uh... What have we... I think we've read that. So the Republic is on its way, but if you don't get to the Star Forge and stop Bastler from using her battle meditation against them, the fleet is doomed. You also suspect Malik will be waiting for you there. Alright, he probably will, wouldn't he? 
Okay, it seems uh, we can level up Jolie and uh, Jihani, so let's go ahead and do that, why not? I think Jolie's got all the force powers. Alright, now he has. Alright, sweet. Jihani. Uh, what should I give her? I'm not sure. Advanced Jedi Defense, I think, and let's go for... No, 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 let's, uh, let's go for Empathy, why not? Force powers, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's good enough, I suppose. What? All right then. With that in mind, we should uh probably make our way back to the ship, to the Ebon Hawk. That is. All right. So now that the uh, the disrupts field has now been removed, we should be able to uh leave this freaking unknown planet. All right. So this should open now. Yes. Okay. Good. Alright, so here we are. Uh, never gonna go back to inside that temple again, are we? Alright, what I actually want to do is uh, have a quick chat with the uh, Rakotans. See if they have anything to say, you know. So they helped us get into the temple. We did not betray them like we did last time when we were Revan. Let's see if they have uh, anything to say about that, I suppose. All right. I shouldn't be. It's like just around the corner. I'm just trying to remember where it is. All right. Hello, Giska. Okay. Luckily, there's no rancors here. That would have uh, kind of been annoying if there were. Not gonna lie. All right. So here we go. Let's uh go ahead and see if they have anything to say. Alright. Elder Settlement. Alrighty. Let's see if they have anything to say to us. When you refused to enter the temple alone, we feared you had betrayed us again. We did not expect you to return. Did you find what you were looking for inside the temple? Did you discover the secrets to destroy the Star Forge? Uh, well, not exactly. I have to go to the Star Forge to stop Malik. Then we wish you luck, Revan. Alright, thank you. We wish us luck. Thank you very much. Perhaps, once the Star Forge is destroyed, it will be time for us to leave this world, to rejoin the galaxy we have isolated ourselves for so long. Well, I'm sure the galaxy will welcome you with open arms. You must go now, Revan. The Star Forge feeds the power of your old apprentice. Do not stop him soon. You will become too powerful for even you to stop. Alright. Thanks for the pep talk. Guess we should uh, get to it then. Trying to uh, stop Malik. Right, can we? No, we can't. That's very annoying. We're gonna have to go the long way to get back to the ship. So, yes. I don't want to use force speed on my actual character just in case it gets stuck. So I'll just use it on Joe Lee. All right. So it is time to return to the Ebon Hawk and finally leave this planet. All right. I return to the Abon Hawk now? Nope. Okay, that's kind of annoying. How far do we have to get to until we can actually just like teleport back there? Oh, probably here. Let's go through here. Uh, oh my god. Oh, where's freaking me? Now I'm the slow one. Where am I? There I am. Sure. Mind me, just trying to catch up. Oh no, no. What? Well, you're good. All right. <laughs> Uh, okay then. Alright, the central beach, we should be able to, uh... Teleport back to the ship. No, no we can't. Okay, I guess we just gotta... Walk back, I suppose. I don't even remember which way we're supposed to go. It's, uh... Yeah, we take a left, don't we? Okay. Alright. We are back. We are back. It looks like everyone's waiting for us. You're back. 
But where's Bastila? I is she alive? What happened inside that temple? About that, uh, Bastila has fallen to the dark side. She has fled to the Starforge. The dark side? Bastila? No! No! How I can know. She was always in danger of being seduced I'm by sad. the dark side, Bastila was strong. She was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. I mean, she can still be saved, can't she? Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you and she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan yeah, there has to the be dark hope. Side, so Basila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. We can try, and we will. I don't know what the fate awaits us. I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. Yeah, me too. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt. Probably. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. All right then. I guess we're leaving this planet for good. And finally. All right. So with these ship parts, you may be able to repair the Evan Hawk's hyperdrive. Oh yeah, we uh, found these parts from that ship, so we should be able to repair the hyperdrive now. Oh look at it, it looks, looks pretty destroyed if you ask me, so let's try and fix it. There we go, just as quick as that. So the hyperdrive has been repaired and it's functioning properly. Alright, good, that's what, uh, that's what I wanted. Alright then, so uh, everyone's still here? Yep. Look at this all, we are ready to go to the Star Forge, alright? But first, what I do want to do is make my final modification to my uh, lightsaber. So, uh, I want to remove these. Um, I have to do that. So, what I want to use is throughout the series, we've used a single saber, we've used dual saber for the most part. But now, to finish it off, when we go to the Star Forge, I want to use a double bladed. So I'm going to have a double bladed purple lightsaber, I think. And I'm going to use uh, these crystals. I wish one's better. I'd say that one is actually. Right, so here we go. This is our final saber for the rest of the series until it ends. If I can actually equip it. <laughs> that was kind of fast dramatic. Alright, so this is the final saber. Oh, we're going to use for the rest of the series. There we go. All right. So this is our last look, basically. I've got the robes on I want, and now it is. It's probably time we've had it. We've finished everything we possibly can. We've had a chat with all of our companions. You know, all of their side quests and stuff are done, dusted. Our ship has been repaired. It is time to finally get to the end of this game. And as you can see here, travel to the Star Forge. So I will do that in the next episode. So guys, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you when we finally enter the Star Forge. <laughs>